Now we are going to create the altitudes of an obtuse triangle, triangle GHI. We're going to use the same strategy that we use with the acute and right triangles. I'm going to hold my protractor sideways, so, and I'm going to line up the 90 degree mark of the protractor on top of side GH. Keeping the 90 degree mark on top of side GH, I'm going to slide the protractor over until the side of the protractor hits opposite vertex I. Then I'm going to use the side of the protractor as a straight edge to connect opposite vertex I straight down perpendicular to side GH. I'm going to mark the distance and altitude by drawing a great angle symbol. Now that we have done one side of the triangle, I'm going to turn my paper to create the altitude of side HI. Again, I'm going to line up the 90 degree mark of the protractor with side HI and slide the protractor over until the side of the protractor now hits opposite vertex G. Notice that at this point, I am now at the end of segment HI, but I have not yet hit opposite vertex G. In order to do that, I'm going to need to extend side HI because it is not long enough. So I'm going to turn my protractor and use it as a straight edge to extend side HI. We're going to use a dotted line to extend the side because solid lines are reserved for the altitudes. Now that I've extended the side, I'm going to line up side HI with the 90 degree mark again and slide the protractor over until I hit opposite vertex G. Notice that the 90 degree mark of my protractor is still on side HI and now I'm at opposite vertex G. So now I can draw a line connecting the opposite vertex straight down perpendicular to side HI. I'm going to put a right angle mark to show that it's an altitude. Notice that this altitude lies outside of the triangle. The last side that we're going to create the altitude of is side GI. Again, I'm going to hold my protractor sideways and line up the 90 degree mark of my protractor on top of side GI. Now I'm going to slide the protractor over until the side of the protractor is the opposite vertex H. Notice that when I get to the end of side GI, my protractor has not yet hit opposite vertex H. This is because we need to extend side GI again, just like we did with side HI. So I'm going to turn my protractor over and use it as a straight edge and use a dotted line to extend side GI. Now that the side is extended, I can create the altitude by placing the 90 degree mark on top of side GI and sliding it over until I hit opposite vertex H. Protractor is still at the 90 degree mark and is still on top of side GI, and the side of the protractor is still at the opposite vertex H. Now I can use the side of the protractor as a straight edge and connect the opposite vertex H perpendicular to side GI. What we're going to put in a right angle symbol to show that that is an altitude. Again, this altitude lies outside of the triangle. Notice that the three altitudes do not intersect yet. However, I can use my protractor as a straight edge and extend each of them until they do intersect.
Notice that when you're creating the altitudes of an obtuse triangle, they all intersect at one point outside of the triangle. That point is called the orthocenter.